Глубокая ночь это единственное время. Deep night is the only time of the year when you can get to infantry fighting positions, more precisely to the first line of defense. We move to combat vehicle. The road ahead is not easy. We still have some distance to cover on foot. It's a two-kilometer walk from the drop-off point. So we will walk two kilometers, right? Yes, that's right. In total darkness, through mud ditches and open fields, we walk to the positions of Ukrainian defenders. We can hear explosions everywhere. This is how the servicemen get to the defensive lines. At the same time, they carry as many essential items as possible. We take a change of clothes, food, everything, not only the ammunition, all of that we have to carry to positions. And how many kilograms approximately each of you has to carry along with ammunition? Maybe 20 or 30. It's just as dangerous at night as it is during the day. The enemy is constantly using drones with ammunition on board, equipped it with thermal imaging cameras. What is that? That's a drone flying. Hide the lantern a little bit. On this section of the front, the evaders do not attack, but artillery fire happens on daily basis. The distance here is small, so they use all weapons they have, right? They use mortars, constantly firing at our direction. Ukrainian servicemen do not let the enemy relax either. As soon as sun rises, they wish occupiers a good morning. As we were walking along, there was a flash from behind and a light went across the sky. It was an SPG, heavy anti-tank grenade launcher. It has a maximum flight attitude of 400 meters. It was anti-tank and now it became anti-personnel. They made a fragmentation grenade and the distance increased from one and a half kilometers to four and a half. We leave our forward positions at sunrise. It is only now that we can clearly see how the whole area around us is stood with shell fragments, including unexploded ones. It's a shaped charge RPG, rocket-propelled grenade, but it burned, so it's better not to touch it. You can see melted plastic and burnt grass here. Ukrainian servicemen are closely monitoring the rotation of the Russian occupiers. There was first infantry here, now the marines came. Every time a new group comes, they try to show their power and begin to fire. But they get a strong repel and retreat again. In the middle of the year, the Ukrainian defense forces on this section of the front in the Bakhmut district significantly pushed back the Russian troops and consolidated on new positions. We traveled about four kilometers today in order to visit the positions of the Ukrainian infantry through mud off-road with drones flying above. This territory was not under the control of Ukrainian army, so there are stretch marks and ammunition at every step. That's the job Ukrainian infantry has to do every day. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Alena Hramova, Yevgen Karmazin, Oleksandr Kolichev, UATV News.